Hello, boys and girls. It's Vincent Mudgett. Vincent Mudgett wants to tell you a little tale about the haunted sawmill. It all began years and years ago, when this used to be the Merrill Sawmill. Once upon a time, a poor employee named Vincent Mudgett worked there. He fell in love with a girl named Louise. Unfortunately, somebody else loved Louise as well, the evil Dorian Morris. Dorian wanted Louise for his own, and in a fit of anger and rage, he hired some of his thugs to beat Vincent up in the yard. Vincent was killed, but Vincent is a wraith, and he escaped from the grave to come back and get his revenge upon Dorian Morris. Years later, Adrian Morris took over the Merrill Sawmill. Adrian was the younger brother of Dorian, and he hated Vincent Mudgett for killing his brother. Adrian was a psychiatrist, and he wanted to turn the property into his own hospital. Adrian Morris began the Arcane Asylum for the Criminally Insane. Years later, a young man named John Doe was found wandering the streets of Merrill claiming to be Vincent Mudgett. John Doe was brought into court and found to be incompetent and committed to the Arcane Asylum for the Criminally Insane. When Adrian Morris realized that he had Vincent Mudgett, or at least someone claiming to be Vincent Mudgett in his grasp, he began to conduct all sorts of evil experiments upon him, like shock therapy. John Doe would not break. He stuck to the fact that he was Vincent Mudgett. This drove Adrian madder and madder and madder. The experiments got worse and worse and worse. Then a pretty young nurse named Louise came to the aid of John Doe. She brought John Doe Vincent's mask and his ex, Lizzie, and they began to set all the patients of the Arcane Asylum free. The inmates took over the asylum. Adrian Morris was killed by John Doe. Then John Doe and Louise slipped off, never to be seen again. Vincent Mudgett is a revenant. That means, boys and girls, that he came back from the dead. Vincent Mudgett is a curse, a wraith, a ghoul, a ghost, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> But I will tell you this, boys and girls, some doors should never be opened. And if you dare to come to the haunted sawmill, you will face the wrath of Vincent Mudgett. <laughs>
Marcus Norris is bringing the nocturnal carnival to the grounds of the haunted sawmill. He's gathered all sorts of performers together, and they had their circus parade already. Watch as he sets up the tents on the grounds of the haunted sawmill. His intention is to tear down Vincent's sawmill, tear it down to the ground and raise his circus tents on what is Vincent's building and Vincent's property. Barnabas will not get away with this, so swears Vincent Mudgett. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Is I, Barnabas Morris, here at the Nocturnal Carnival, where I've reclaimed my family's land. I ran off and made my own circus and made my own wealth, and I have brought it here to Merrill to give you all entertainment. Come and you will see the Nocturnal Carnival is the greatest show on earth. Hands down, we have dancing elephants and dancing clowns and things of all sorts. People warned me of taking over this land, saying it was cursed by Vincent. He's nothing but a man in a stupid costume, and I can prove it to you if you come to the Nocturnal Carnival. I have his corpse on display. People keep warning me about this stupid urban legend. I don't know why Wisconsin is so obsessed with the urban legend of, of Vincent Mudgeon. All I want to do is run my carnival, run my carnival. All I want to do is Barnabas! Ooh, Barnabas! Yes. Hey! Hello? Me, Phaedra. You, Phaedra? One of Vincent's most trusted lieutenants is Phaedra, the vampire queen. You may remember that Vincent found her in Greece. Phaedra was vain and foolish. She wanted to live forever, so she sold her soul in exchange for the promise of eternal beauty and eternal youth. Now Phaedra must drink the blood of the young and beautiful to maintain her youth. But she is also Vincent's right-hand woman. Oh, Vincent will be so happy. Come on. Barnabas Morris, you have dared to awaken the spirit of Vincent Mudgett. I warned you what would happen if you brought your nocturnal carnival here. All of the Morris brothers have dared to trifle with me. Now you too shall face the wrath of Vincent Mudgett. Ah, <laughs> and it's mine. <laughs> Come on, Vincent. I just want to run my carnival, Phaedra's carnival. I just want to run my carnival, run my carnival, Phaedra's carnival, Phaedra's carnival. Work, work, work. It's all Vincent does. If it's not publicity photos with everybody who wants to get a picture with Vincent, it's chasing away Boy Scouts that come onto his property, have their fundraisers, or it's chasing away people like you who want to get scared at the haunted sawmill. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent warned you. Some doors should never be opened. And people have dared to open the doors of the haunted sawmill again. Vincent will have his revenge upon Barnabas and everybody else that dares to come to the haunted sawmill. Beware. <laughs>